Hey guys! Today I'm going to show you how I pluck and draw on my eyebrows. Look at those. Look at those. These are already done before they did not look this good. Insert clip of before. This is going to be a tutorial on how to stick to your natural brow shape and um, I don't know, if you have eyebrows that are really close to your eyes, like I do, and they kind of like get in the way and make your eyes look like sad, this is how to counteract that, okay? Let's get in to the video. To start off, you are going to take a little spoolie brush and you are going to brush your eyebrows upwards. And you're gonna look crazy. And then what I do, is I take my tweezers. These ones are just Revlon tweezers. They are nothing special. I go in and anything that is really sparse, basically, I don't know what I'm saying, but basically, see how this is really defined? I just like pluck this and like maybe bring it up a little bit so I have a bit more of an arch because my eyebrows don't actually have that much of an arch. I just go ahead and I pluck that out. Okay, so now see how I've gotten most of the sparse little hairs growing down here, but I want to make a bit more of an arch, so I'm just going to pluck a little bit up there to create an arch and then I'm going to clean up the tail. So now as you can see there is some shape to it. I'm going to just go ahead and brush it out normally with my spoolie brush and then just go back in and fix up any parts that need fixing up. As you can see, this eye has a lot more arch to it as this eye. And I'm literally not lifting up my brow at all. Okay, maybe I was a little. That's what I like and that's what I'll do. So once you are happy with how your eyebrow shape is looking so far, you are going to take that little spoolie and again, you're going to brush those hairs as far up as they will go. And then I like to use a brand new pair or a super duper clean pair of toenail clippers, the small little scissor ones, or you could get some nose clippers from the store. Like the little nose hair trimmers, yes. Yeah, I think those would work pretty well too. Go up along and trim your hair. And now after you've done that, just go in if you see any other things that you would like to pluck and pluck those away. So as you can see, this eyebrow is trimmed and plucked and this eyebrow is just plucked and there's a huge difference between this one and this one. Like this one looks really good and this one looks like okay but not really. You know what, you know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna go ahead and trim this one. So now that our eyebrows are trimmed and ready, I'm just gonna show you how I draw in my eyebrows. So I like to use the Essence Eyebrow Pencil. It's pretty short now because I've used it a lot. It comes with a little tiny brush on the end and it's just sharpenable. What I like to do is start at the front and draw some lines and then sculpt in the rest and I elongate my eyebrow because my eyebrows are quite short just little strokes 
until you feel like your eyebrow is filled in. So now our last comparison will be the filled in eyebrow and the other eyebrow. See, every time you just thought it was good and it just got even better. What can I say? And now the finishing step, which is definitely optional, I definitely don't do it every day, is to take a brow gel and just sweep that over the brow. I am using the Maybelline Brow Drama. I just sweep that lightly on there. And you have to be careful if you are using a tinted one, not to mess up the sharp lines you have created. And that is all I do for my brows. It's honestly pretty simple compared to some of the ones that you do see on YouTube that are literally 12 minutes long. But I don't know, that's just what I've been doing since forever. So a couple of tips to make it less painful, which I didn't do before this video, is to pluck your eyebrows after you take a shower, or if you are not going to take a shower, then apply a very hot or very warm cloth to your face or steam your face because it's going to kind of open up the hair follicles and make it less painful when you rip them out. Also, I recommend doing this before bed because as you can see, my eyebrows are kind of red afterwards. It's totally up to you how you want to do your brows, if you want to go and get someone to do them for you or if you want to do them at home, but this is how I do my eyebrows. So now we are finished and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to thumbs it up and comment down below and don't forget to subscribe when i get to 100 subscribers i will be doing a giveaway so if you want to participate in that make sure you are subscribed and stay tuned for the announcement of that on